Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Nate, and I've got a fantasy home for you today. Well, the fantasy island, I should say. Made by Palm Harbor Homes. This is at Palm Harbor Home Village in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. So this is going to be a three-bedroom, two-bath home. 1,487 square foot, so just under 1,500. So you got three bedrooms, two bathrooms. You've got, uh, I guess you get a pantry. So on your back side here, we've got our back door. Got some big windows down over here. So these big windows are gonna be in your dining room area. So our view from the inside when we walk in is clearly a wide open floor plan. So we'll start with uh, your living room. First, I gotta take my shoes off. Okay. So now our living room it went with kind of two different colors of brown. You've got the, uh, what is that, about four inch crown molding, or molding I should say across the top. Vents are in the ceiling. Overall, a really good sized living room for the size of the home being just under 1,500 square foot. And there's those two great big windows we were looking at on the back side for your dining room area. A couple of overhead lights above your dining room table. almost look like uh, the block pattern from Minecraft. <laughs> and when we get to our kitchen, you will notice that this home is living room area, dining room area. Half the kitchen is done in sheetrock. The rest of the home is done in the, uh, the wall board. And you can see we've got the mint green cabinets down below, the white cabinets up above. And your backsplash runs all the way to the ceiling. Got to plug at this end, plug at this end, 
Now the only drawers I see are these four right here. So then we have a pantry. Now there's no power, so hopefully this will show up all right. So now it looks fairly deep, but you've only got shelves starting from about right here. The reason for that, where this kind of sticks out a little bit, that is your water heater access. And then, of course, the water heater is placed behind where the fridge is. And into our utility room. <laughs> I tell you, that's how I feel sometimes. I got laundry to do, and I, I don't mind washing it, putting it in the dryer, and all that good stuff. I, I'm a procrastinator when it comes to folding it. <laughs> I'll get it all washed and dried and pulled out of the dryer. I throw it on the couch. And <laughs> then it seems like all of a sudden I want to go do something else. So as we... Swing out of the kitchen towards the back of the home. Into the first of the three bedrooms. We get walk-in closets. And across from the first bedroom, we've got the guest bathroom. Now it's a little bit darker in here. I've got enough light coming in from the bedroom though to be able to get you the shot. Now that is the two-piece shower tub combo. We do have the shower head way up high though. I will point out these are nine foot ceilings. So even though this is priced in the uh, mid-range area for, the, for Palm Harbor, it's not entry level, it's not the high end. That's why part sheetrock, part wallboard. You still got the big nine foot ceilings. Once again, a really large walk in closet. They've got different coloring of wallboard on the back wall of the primary bedroom and then the same color as the rest of the home.
Good size closet. And last but not least, we've got to come in and check out the primary bathroom with that great big shower back there. But we can't forget to say hello to Raiden. <laughs> and you do have the matte black faucets. Of course, all your poles match. And normally I point that out earlier, I just... I spaced it off when I was counting the drawers and trying to see how many drawers we had. So three in the bathroom. There's the water closet. Next to your water closet, you've got a linen closet. That's a pretty deep linen closet. And we can't forget about the shower. Transom window up at the top. No bench in the shower, but uh, really big now it's not tile this is uh forget what they call this stuff i'll have to see if i can figure out what they call it and put that in the text down below but you've got the wand to go along with your shower tower and let's see if we can tower the comments in the comment section down below on what you think of the home. What kind of upgrades would you like? What kind of color changes would you like to see? And don't forget to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and I will be back with some price information shortly. Thanks for watching. Well, all right, we have successfully toured another video. Yeah, this is the end of the year. This one makes 468 videos that I will have up on the channel. It's been three years as of a week ago. I didn't even realize I came across my three-year anniversary because it's kind of flown by. I want to say thank you all for watching, you know, supporting me for the last three years. Those of you that have been around since the beginning, those of you that haven't, well, welcome. <laughs> but uh, anyway... Next year, we've got a lot coming up next year. So this year we had a couple of firsts, you know, I got to go to the Legacy Home Show in October. I made quite a few more trips this year. I am no longer working at O'Reilly Auto Parts. I'm more doing YouTube full time. So once again, I want to say thank you guys for supporting me and allowing me to do this. Next year, as I was saying, we got uh, some more firsts coming up. First time going to the uh, Kentucky Home Show there in Louisville. Maybe I'll run into chance. You never know. <laughs> Probably, you know, it's a three-day event, and it takes a long time to film all them homes. In fact, there will be over 45 on display. And then we've got the Biloxi Home Show that I've got my application into. Hopefully, I'll get approved for that one. And then uh, you've got some other stuff going on next year. But I hope you all enjoyed the Fantasy Island here. And uh, now I know you all want some price information for this one. So this one's currently on sale. It's come down from 145,000 as shown down to 130,000. So that is a $15,000 drop. Really nice to see that prices are continuing to come down. So anyway, I hope you all don't drop off and forget to leave me the comments and all that kind of stuff. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.